Your Royal Highness, First Minister, Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the Rehabilitation International World Congress 2016. My name is Roy O'Shaughnessy, and as Stephen has said, I'm the Chief Executive of Shore Trust, your host organization to this event. We're a UK-based charity supporting disabled and disadvantaged people to lead independent and inclusive lives. By 2020, we aim to transform the lives of at least 50,000 people per year. I would like to take this opportunity at the start of this Congress to offer a few short expressions of thanks. May I first thank Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, as the Royal Patron of this event and for making the time to attend to speak today. I was delighted when you agreed to be the Royal Patron of this Congress, not just because of the commitment to social reform in progress you demonstrate so keenly, but also because your father was the patron the last time the UK hosted the RA Congress over 50 years ago. Thank you. Thank you for your continuing commitment to our work and advancing the rights of disabled people across the globe. I would also like to thank the Right Honourable Nicola Sturgeon, MSP, First Minister of Scotland. Thank you for speaking to us today and reinforcing your dedication to the agendas of rehabilitation and inclusion in Scotland, in particular through the principles of fair work, dignity and respect. We look forward to taking these conversations forward as you implement the United Nations Conventions on the Rights of Purpose persons with disabilities and ensure Scotland is a leader in an ever more inclusive and accessible world for disabled people. Ewan, I'm delighted you could join and address us today. Thank you. Your story and the amazing work you do at Ewan's Guide is an example to us all. The power of the information you provide is helping to transform the lives of disabled people across the globe, giving them confidence and choice in how they lead their lives. We look forward to being able to use the lessons you have outlined over the rest of this event to develop further practical solutions which allow disabled people to live their lives to their fullest potential and enjoyment. I would also like to thank everyone here today and those who will be attending the Congress over the coming days. We have representatives from actually now 65 countries, so do please take this opportunity to network, discuss and debate with fellow delegates to share your knowledge and experience. Whether your journey has been from the other side of the world or the other side of the road, I'm delighted to welcome you all to Edinburgh and hope you have a very enjoyable and stimulating Congress. Last, but by no means least, I would finally like to congratulate the outgoing president of RI, Jan Monsbakken of Norway, for his very successful four-year presidency. Jan, you have achieved so much over this period of time, both externally in raising the profile of RI with senior decision makers and politicians, but also internally to ensure RI is fit for purpose for the future. On behalf of everyone here, thank you. I know the time and dedication you have placed in the role, and thanks to you, RI has never been on a surer footing in advancing the rights and inclusion of people with disabilities across the world. So all that remains for me to say is to wish you all a wonderful Congress, and I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible over the coming three days. Thank you very much.